Hello everyone, this is Flora and this is my case to lab experiment number 3. Today's is a uh, topic for today's experiment is sequence diagram. So what is a sequence diagram? A sequence diagram is a type of a interaction diagram between objects over a period of time and uh, it actually captures the message flow from one object to another uh, over a period of time. The symbols used in sequence diagrams are object, object which is an instance of a class and it's pictorically represented like this. Then we have actors who communicate or are users of the system. Then we have something called lifeline which identifies the existence of an object over time. So over a particular amount of time, what, to, how, how long will that object exist? Then activation which is to indicate that which object is performing at that particular time and what function it is performing. Then we have message which is given by the arrow single which is used to uh, say or tell the other object about the event that will initiate that object's function. Then we have self messages, messages to itself an object sending message to itself. Then we have recursive messages which is uh, object sends a message to itself or uh, to until the time a certain condition is met. So for my scenario which is an online uh, course registration system between us uh, for a student which is allocated by the course coordinator I have two sequence diagram one is an interaction of a course coordinator with the website next is an interaction of a student with the website so in the first case the course coordinator interacting with the website I have three objects here the course coordinator is an object system itself is an object and website the interface is an object so the first first event that the course coordinator will do is it will allocate the course available for that particular academic year. What would the system do? The system would update its database. Then what will the course coordinator do? Course coordinator will allocate its deadline and the system will check for deadline whether the deadline is a relevant deadline or it's an irrelevant deadline. Then the course coordinator, if it's invalid, then the course coordinator is alerted and the course coordinator changes the deadline. Then the course coordinator allocates eligibility. Again, the system updates all the details and stores the value to be ready so that the user can use it. So my next experiment is, uh, so my next module of this is the interaction of the student with the website. As what I said, the next phase is the user interaction with the web server. So in this, the user first interacts with the website. Now, if you see, there are three different objects, one website and the web server, which would be same, and then another object called user. So all, already all the details are fed to the web server or the, or the system and can be accessed by the coordinator and can be accessed by the user. So the first step that the user does is it he logs in. So as he logs in, the website retrieves the details, the password and the username and sends it to the web server. The web server then verifies whether it's correct and sends it back to the website. If the detail is correct, the website will allow the user to enter, to view the course that are allocated to him by the course coordinator. Then once that is done, the, uh, the user will then register for the course. Once the user registers for the course, the website will check its eligibility, the number of seats that are allocated. And once that criteria is reached, the website, the web server will send a confirmation message and the website will send it to the user. That is the final submission. Once the user does the final submission, again, the number of seats that are present in the web server increases and uh, that is done in the system. Now, if you see, there's an error. We cannot have um, we cannot have a, a skipping of numbers. So if we have one of that to be, so if you saw, we can, we couldn't have first the sequence number six executing and then five. That is wrong. In a sequence diagram, everything goes in an accordance sequentially. So first the first sequence that is the login, then the data, then the details, and then the acceptance, and then the course view. So this is for my lab experiment number three. Thank you.